Welcome to Stars and Stripes. Our flag is the symbol of freedom and justice for all. Many brave Americans fought and died for this freedom. America was founded on Judeo-Christian principles. When we allow our Constitution to be destroyed and God is taken out of America, there is and can be no freedom. We uh, honor uh, Bishop Blaylock and all the team here and the ministry here for letting us uh, be here hosting this event. Um, we really believe it is a strategic shifting time, uh, a point in time, a set time uh, that God has in mind for us that have come today. And you are here by divine appointment. Amen. Amen. And uh, I'm just so excited to see you. We've got some good things to share with you today. You're going to be blessed. You're going to be lifted up. You're going to be encouraged. And uh, we're going to go higher in the kingdom. Amen. <laughs> such a time as this. I've had a warrior in me ever since I was a kid. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. It's just stepping up some notches. Glory. I wouldn't even try to step up a few more notches except I'm not letting the devil get anything over on me. Yeah. Glory to God because you know what? The reason why he's had the liberty he had is because somebody has forgotten their sound. Somebody's forgot to make a noise. Somebody forgot to show up when God said, I told you to show up there because right there was your connection. Right there was your assignment. If I could have just got you right there. Hallelujah. But we don't know that name. We don't recognize those people. They look different. They sound funny. Glory to God. But they were God's people. And my pastor used to say, don't consider what the vessel looks like. But if God is talking, you better catch it. Come on. Hallelujah. 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 So they put me in the hospital. <laughs> Glory to God. And the doctor said, we think we're going to keep you for a few days. This just happened. Amen. Glory to God. But I said, I knew 
the great physician, so he didn't tell me that. So I, <laughs> he didn't tell me I was going to be gone for a few days. So I, I told the doctor uh, that was standing in front of me, I said, I can't be here. I've got something to do. <laughs> Glory to God. So take up your bed and walk because they were healed as they went. Yeah. Glory to God. And my assignment is not going to be missed because the devil thought he was going to play a little bit. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So how many know that God has the report we need to hear? See, I don't plan on going nowhere until God says it's time for me to go. Amen. Hallelujah. And I refuse any report that goes against the report of thus saith the word of God. Amen. Amen. And I mean it. <laughs> I mean it. Amen. Glory to God. And y'all might hear uh, some warrior sounds. I don't know what you'll hear out of me today. But all I know is I feel the fire Amen. of the Holy Ghost. Amen. We didn't get out of the house and the fire was burning. I said, what's the thing the devil hates? He hates it when people come together and pray. Yeah. He hates it when people say, you know what? I just think I've got to get somewhere. I've got to get a hold of God. I just got to communicate with Him because 2 Chronicles seven fourteen says what? If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven, forgive their sin and heal their land. So we don't get the shift until we do the if. Hallelujah. There's a first part to that. And that's the part people get messed up on. I ain't going to do the if, Pastor Taylor. I don't have time to pray. Because the times you're living in, you're about to see devils you didn't even know exist. That's right. That's right. Amen. You think you've got a battle going on now? Oh, come on. Come on. Somebody better be praying. That's right. Somebody better be turning and repenting. Glory to God. Somebody better be crying out to God. Somebody better be saying, God, I need some help. I need it right now. I need it right now, God. I need some right now help. Yes. Come on now. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. I've got to do this. Hallelujah. I'm not trying to point at teaching myself. I've heard this word all morning from you and from the lady here. <clears throat> what does that word say? Shifters. <coughs> Shifters. Is yes. that right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. That's yes. You what got it's it. All about. You got it. This is yours. Oh, praise God. I use this as a witness to it. All right, praise God. Well, hallelujah. Give the man a hand. He understands about shifting. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So, so he's looking for what I call some kingdom advancer. Now, let me tell you about a kingdom advancer. If I'm standing as a kingdom advancer... I first got to be what she said, a king romancer. Come on now. Am I saying the truth? How can I talk about somebody that I don't know? How can I convey to you and express to you something that we need to know if I don't know the one, glory to God, that I'm talking about? I'm trying to tell you this morning that not only do we need to return to the first love, Come on now. Amen. We need to step it up some notch. We need to love on Him like we ain't never loved on Him. Amen. We need to spend time with Him like we've never spent time Amen. with Him. Come on now. Kingdom events. I believe they're sitting in this room. Amen. I'm a kingdom advancer. Amen. I'm a king romancer. I'm sure enough a worshiping dancer. And I'm the devil's cancer. He's not just going to have a Maalox moment, but his cellular system's getting ready to be burned up, and I say, burn, devil, burn. Glory. Come on now. I'm talking about the power of Almighty God, which is greater than any other power. Amen. There is 
done greater. That's right. Kingdom advance. They're sitting in this room, apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors. Teachers. The Lord told me at the beginning of this year, I'm going to lose the fivefold. They've been stuck up. There's been some stuck up places. There's been some uh, places that have been hindered a little bit, obstructed. But God's getting ready <laughs> to release the flood. And there's people getting ready to be repositioned in some places that they ain't stepped in yet. Yeah. But he said, before I do that new thing, before it springs forth, I will tell you of it. Anybody listening? Yes. So, so we got to advance in this kingdom work. Advance meaning we've got to go forward, Mary said. You tell me a movement of God that don't have no movement. Come on now. You tell me a movement where people ain't doing nothing. <laughs> they ain't praying. They ain't listening. And they ain't following the assignment. God, I'm, I'm sorry I missed that one. I wasn't listening. I'm sorry. But God is calling us into some right alignments. He's calling us into some relational connection. And the connection you're sitting next to actually could be the next thing concerning your open door. My, my. That you've been looking for. God has a key for you. To unlock yes. some places that you haven't walked in. Glory to God. So he, uh, he said we go forward. It means to improve in rank and value. We got people that God is going to strategically place. Glory to God. And the kingdom advancement. Hallelujah. They're going to be able to walk in a place of rank and file that is going to complement every step that the army's making. Because see, when you step out of rank or you're not in the position that you're supposed to be, it can affect the others that are marching with you. That's right. Amen. I'm going to tell you something by the Spirit today. Hallelujah. But He said it. So the advance and strike forward and 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 it means progress. It means you just got to move. You got to advance, beloved. At this time, God is calling on you to advance yes. and be rightly aligned and positioned. For we are facing. Conflicts. How many know anything about conflicts? I, I know I'm sitting at some people in here. No. Yes, they do. For we're facing conflicts yes. of rising proportions. Spiritually, physically, yes. militarily, economically, atmospherically, even in natural glory to God uh, situations and disasters and calamities. The whole earth is groaning and moaning with the, for the manifest sons of God. There are sons and daughters of God that are being called forth to come up and to move out. Glory to God. How many know that there was a man in the Bible named Joseph? And Joseph, we know, went through many conflicts. We know he was betrayed by family. We know he was sold into slavery. Yes. We know he was falsely accused. <laughs> Glory to God. Uh, we know that he, he went through some horrendous uh, situations. Glory to God. And that he was thrown into prison. Hallelujah. And temptations and everything else. But the glory uh, to glory to God, he walked in the blessing of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory. Amen. You say, Pastor Linda, 
Can you have blessing and favor even when you're going through yes, conflict? Yes, you can. <laughs> even when things get really heated up yes. and they're saying all manner of evil against you yes. and uh, glory to God and it doesn't look good on the left, the right, <laughs> before and after. But I'm here to tell you today that God said even in the midst of your heat and the heated battles, God said you can have the blessing of God. Yes. And in fact, the promise says in Deuteronomy 28, 7, when he tells us if you walk in God, even in the blessing of God, that your enemies will come in at you from one direction. But they will flee my, my, my. in seven Amen. Amen. directions. Come on. Somebody ought to say he's got my front. He's got my left side. He's got my right side. He's got my back side. He's encompassed me with a shield. Just trying to do something, devil. I'm here to tell you I'm engulfed by God. It falls off of me. It rolls off of me. I've got one focus. And that is the lover of my soul. Yes. And it is the assignments yes. he's given yes. me to do. Yes, amen. Come on now. Hallelujah. Joseph was a dreamer. We got any dreamers? Anybody dreamers in this room? Oh, I know there's some dreamers. Glory to God. Joseph was a dreamer. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But can I tell you, those of you that have had the dreams, whether anybody believed in your dreams or not, they were God dreams that He put on the inside of you. And He says, don't give up on your dreams today. I'm speaking to somebody sitting here today because He said, you get up. And you move forward. And remember, your biggest dream is the devil's biggest nightmare. Glory. He hates it when you walk into places. Oh, that's that pastor so-and-so. That's that apostle, that evangelist, that whoever. And the, whoever you are. It doesn't matter. But God knows every hair on your head. Yes, he, does. he knows everything about you. Yes, he does. And he's got your back. Yes, he you say, Pastor Linda, does that mean you don't ever want people to pray for? Oh, yes, please pray for me. Please, I'm begging you. In fact, if you're sitting here today and you're not with this network uh, actively in an area uh, working with us, you can pray for me. <laughs> you can pray for Mary. You can pray for this network. Come on now. Everybody's got a, a job in the kingdom. <laughs> Glory to God. So he was a dreamer. He had a dream. The dream one day. Uh, Glory to God. He was going to see some things. Glory to God. Because we read about it in scripture. Yes. The Lord was with him. He gave him success in everything he did. He had favor. Yes. And even his enemies couldn't stop him. Yes. The devil can't stop you. Amen. That's a little old puny devil. Yes, he is. <laughs> he can't do nothing to you unless you give him access. That's right. Amen. Unless you invite him in. Unless you just decide you're going to go crazy and go out in the world and act like a nut sinning. I'm just telling you. He don't have that kind of power. God has all power. Amen. The Amen. only power He has is the power that He's given access to. Yes. That's right. So what are you troubled about today? What is bothering you today? What are you concerned about today? North Carolina was prophesied over many prophets and people in the apostolic network. But can I tell you, Derek Prince in 75 prophesied and said not only uh, about the revival, but he said the phenomena would be studied by other states. Revival fire! Glory! Revival fire is in this state. It's going to burn! 
in the Holy Ghost. People's lives are going to be changed. We got governmental people now that are coming on board and saying, I want to join with what you're praying because I want to see change. They're praying governmental people. You say governmental people. Yes. People calling, people saying, when can we connect? Just waiting, just waiting. Glory to God, even waiting for the connection. Because they want to see change. Yeah. Look, what will happen if groups of people get together and we say we want to change and we decide that we're going to put down all our little pride, ego trips and everything else we take every now and then when we go crazy <laughs> or feel sorry for ourselves. And say, you know what? What I've been doing is not working. So I'm throwing everything aside. And I'm going to join that group. Because they already had the marriage amendment passed. They had one man, one woman. They already saw the success of that. Come on now. This network has been favored. We already saw what happened at the poll site. And God turned around. We already saw what happened at the convention. When they tried to kick God out. And God, God was exalted. They couldn't even put them out. You can't put God out. With the people that will stand up and say, I'm going to pray. I'm going to join that team. There's success there. There's favor there. Those people are serious about what they're involved in. And we mean to see change. We ain't stopping our praying. He said the effectual fervent prayers of the righteous avail much. I'm not stopping because somebody else is stopping. Go ahead. That ain't never stopped me. It don't matter what you're doing. Yes. It matters yes. what God tells me to do. Yes. And if I don't obey God, then He deals with me. But I'm just telling you, this morning, if you're sitting here and you say, Pastor Taylor, I believe there's something about that network I'm attracted to. I believe there's something about God's anointing and God's favor and God's blessing on a woman of God that rose up and said, I'm going to start a network like a Mary Medford in a small package, but mighty in God. Yes. She'll chase the devils away. Uh -huh. She can't walk into a room. I'm telling you, you better hear. Come on, God. And her husband, he, don't play with him either. <laughs> I've heard him. I heard his prayers. I'm telling you, he's mine. We got mighty people. Bishop Blaylock, these pastors sitting here that I've been with in ministry, and people sitting here, intercessors. People that pray. People that believe God. Yes. Well, I'm going to tell you. There's dreamers here. Don't give up on your dreams. Amen. Amen. Come on now. Amen. God said uh, to tell you today, no matter how you get around it, that this journey is by faith. Yeah. Now, if you can do this journey without faith, talk to me. I want to know how you did it. Because everything God told me to step into... There was no equipment. Amen. There was no resources. Amen. I, I was sitting with a checkbook and it didn't match what the resource was. Amen. <laughs> and God said, go plant this. Go start that. Go do this. Go do that. And if it's His will, then He'll take care of the bill. Amen. Come on now. Amen. I don't do things because... I think this would be the way that I would do it. <laughs> I have to hear what he said. That's right. And he said, I didn't tell you to do it that way. I can't, I gotta stop. And I got to turn the other way and say, sorry God, I'm gonna walk your way. Because one thing I fear more than anything on this earth is God. That's right. Amen. I'm serious Tell about us. the things of God. Tell I ain't playing church. I ain't playing. Amen. There's no plan in my arena. Right. I can just tell you that. And the people that know me know that's the truth. Glory to God. But in Hebrews 11, 8, we read about a man named Abraham. Mm -hmm. And by faith, he was called out to a place which, where he would receive an inheritance. And he obeyed and he went. Not knowing 
where he was going. Come on now. Yes. Some of you have been called out. Uh, all of you have. We're the ecclesia, we're the called out ones, the church. But I'm saying you've been called out for specific assignments. Specific uh, direction to those assignments. Don't miss the directions. That's right. Amen. Amen. And yes. don't miss the assignment. Glory to God. Amen. So by faith, he got up from where he was. He obeyed God. And he went out. Glory to God. Not knowing what he was going to find when he got there. Look, when I showed up for that apostolic commission and the big sword was out, and here was the little lady sitting there with the big sword. And uh, the apostles and the shofar is blowing. <laughs> Glory to God. And here she is getting ready to go down the line to commission the people. I had only talked to her on the phone. I didn't even know her. And I showed up late. I got caught in traffic. I couldn't even get there in time. The service had already started. I'm sitting in the back. And I remember my pastor's voice. You know, remember order, remember protocol, remember this, remember that. And I'm sitting there and I said, these people don't know me, God. You know me, but they don't know me. And here I am in the back while they're standing up there getting ready to be commissioned. And I'm supposed to be one of them and she don't know me. And I don't know her because we hadn't seen each other. Only we talked on the phone. So what do I do? Do I stay where I'm seated? Or do I get up? And walk up to the front. What would you do? God said get up. From that place. You get up there. And you walk right up there to the front. And as I walked up to the front. There was Mary. Getting ready to commission. And there was the sword. And I was the first one. <laughs> the last. Became first. And I looked at her and I said, right about now she can tell me to go sit down because I'm out of order. She don't know who I am. Glory to God. But she didn't say nothing. She just was moving in the Holy Ghost. She just was moving on down the line. Glory to God. I trust you enjoyed today's program. Please contact your congressman and let him know you are displeased with our Constitution being butchered. More executive orders came forth in the last four years than ever before in American history. Remember to pray for America. Be strong and of good cheer. Remember, America is worth fighting and dying for, as is Jesus our Lord. Until next time, this is Kenneth T. Jones saying, So long, friends.